also joined by Dr. Aditi Hazra, Associate Epidemiologist, Brigham and Women's Hospital and Assistant Professor of Medicine at Harvard Medical School. Thank you so much, Doctor, for joining us on the telethon. And, you know, there's so much uh, scientific lingo that we've all picked up in this last year and a half. But if you could explain to us you know, what is genomic sequencing when, you know, when you're talking about coronavirus, there's the, there's the original virus, then there was alpha, there was all the other uh, viruses, delta, of course. If you could tell us about the importance of genomic sequencing. Absolutely, it's good to be with you. Genome sequencing is technology that we can use to understand the complete sequence and order of all the genes that make up a living organism. Humans have 3 billion DNA bases. The COVID-19 virus has 30,000 RNA bases, and these bases are represented as chemical letters a, C, G, and U. And so these 30,000 sequences made up the original coronavirus. As it spread from person to person, it was replicating itself, it was copying itself. And occasionally it would make an error in that copy, like a spelling error or a typo in a text message. And that can have a different meaning. And so we have seen during the spring surge that the Delta variant is one of these mutations that allows the virus to be more transmissible. It is attaching to the human cells more robustly, and it has some immune escape. And so we see that variant is now the dominant variant worldwide. And although other variants are emerging, sequencing allows us, it is using technology to detect it sooner so that we can bring localized quarantine, mitigation, and vaccination efforts to reduce the burden of the spread. Yeah. Uh, Aditi Hazarji, you know, we all know that the future of healthcare around the world depends a lot on surveillance of the kind the commissioner was just talking about. Being able to understand scale and scope of spread. Now, India has one of the biggest surveillance systems in, let's say, cholera, polio, and AIDS but it is not strong enough elsewhere. Would you, would you agree? India has such fascinating capacity. There are uh, men and women that I've worked with during my volunteer work that have the ability to sequence. What India needs is additional sources of funding and reagents to help build the capacity and, con and continue this work. The consortium INSACOG in India has sequenced has 10 labs and sequenced about 60,000 samples. They are now adding another 18 labs and the private sector is going to get involved to also increase sequencing. And you're absolutely correct, sir, that it has been used, technology has been used for polio and other pathogens and it allows us to detect it early because we are chasing the virus without sequencing. Once we sequence it and we know which variant is spreading, we can get ahead of it by bringing the mitigation measures to that localized area.